Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. This is my first video of this year, 2018. And I want to take the time to wish you guys all the best for 2018. Now, I am going to show you something very, very cool today uh, that is called Regroover. And stick with me, you are not going to regret this. Uh, but first, again, like usual, uh, click on the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel. And don't forget to like and to share this video. So let's get into it. Regroover. What is Regroover? So let's take a look. If we go here in Cubase, uh, we can uh, find and load Regroover in uh, as a virtual instrument. So we're just going to click right here to add an instrument track and load Regroover Pro. And there you go. So um, this is what Regroover looks like uh, when it's stripped down. And uh, the goal here is to load a loop, an audio loop. And uh, what Regroover will do, it will strip that down to several different layers. So you have access to a specific part of the, um, uh, the samples of that loop. So what Regroover does here is quite powerful. So I'm just going to go here in my media bay and I am just going to se select a loop. Okay, I'm going to use this one. So I simply drag and drop it directly in Regroover. And Regroover will analyze um, the loop itself. And it's going to split it out to four layers. And uh, if we listen to the layers by themselves, this is what it sounds like with uh, layer number one. Okay, but first, um, now it doubled the tempo. So I'm just going to bring that down to 74, which is my... Uh, tempo, the tempo of the loop, and it's the tempo of my session at the same time. And I'm just going to do that again in solo. There you go. Uh, same for the second layer, which is the kick, I believe. So the way that works, um, it analyzes the frequency range of all the sounds and split them up uh, into separate separate layers uh, from what I understand using a kind of a special uh, algorithm of some sort, uh, which is quite impressive. Um, so now from that point, we can, uh, uh, we can play with the groove directly from this window. Uh, for example, here we have uh, the locators. Okay, so each layer has a locator okay where uh, you can loop a section of the layer so for example if i um take the kick drum okay i'm just going to listen to the uh, the groove here okay from the top okay and then i'm gonna bring the locator right here and right here okay so now everything that is within the locators is going to play as a loop. Okay, so if I play the entire groove. Okay, so you can do this on all the layers and right there you can regroove your loop. Uh, so this is quite cool. Now I am going to bring that back to uh, the entire groove here. Um, now on top here we have the, uh, the grid, okay, where you can sync uh, to grid or you can leave that, you know, without the grid at all. And uh, you can sync that to your host. You know, same thing if you want to, if you click on the host here, uh, it is going to play when you're going to click on play in your DAW. Um, now we have the uh, analysis uh, section here. Um, now what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to actually strip that down to six layers instead of uh, four. So Rig Rover can uh, strip it down from four uh, to six layers. Okay, so to do so, I'm going to go into the analysis uh, section here and bring that up to six. I'm going to click on split. And uh, I'm probably going to get more uh, detailed tracks. So there you go. Uh, now I have six layers. So it analyzed uh, the entire loop and it, you know, it just stripped that down to six layers. So if I listen to the first one, okay, this is what I get. The second one. Okay, now they're similar. Okay, but if I, if I listen to the snare, 
Okay, that's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Uh, but there's still some uh, some other percussive sounds uh, between the hits. I'm going to fix that up later on. Uh, but first, what I'm going to do here, um, something you can do with Regroover, we, you can actually just merge some layers together. That's another very cool thing here. So uh, to do so, I am going to lock all of the tracks that I'm not using. And I'm just going to focus on these two tracks that I want to merge together. Now, um, I have here the annotation tool. If I activate that and I double click, you know, somewhere in the uh, in one layer, I'm going to have a kind of a, um, uh, a selection part here. OK, um, so I'm just going to select the entire layer, basically. And by selecting that layer um, and clicking on split, it is going to merge with the unlock layer that is right below it. OK, so now I have an empty layer on top and I have the combined merge uh, layer right here. OK, which makes more sense for this loop. Um, so that's a way of uh, you can do this. Now, if we listen to the snare again, OK, we, you notice that we have some um, some percussive sounds between the hits. And if I want to isolate the snare hits, I have something I can do. I am going to use the same technique. OK, I'm going to activate the annotation uh, tool here. Double click between the two hits. OK, and um, then I'm going to merge that to another layer. Now, that process can be long if you decide to do so on the entire layer, uh, which I did earlier. I'm going to have you listen to what I did. So stick until the end of the video. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, just for now, I'm just going to merge these parts with another track without merging the entire layer. Um, let's listen to this layer. OK, I'm just going to merge whatever is in between the snare hits. I'm going to merge this with this layer. So I'm going to, again, lock these different layers uh, and uh, split. Click on split. It's going to analyze, do his thing. And now, as you noticed, uh, whatever was selected is now merged into the uh, layer number four. OK, so I'm going to have you listen to the snare hits. So you hear the difference. OK, the first four hits, um, they're cleaned up. Now the kick drum. Uh, this is good enough for me. Honestly speaking, it is a bit, um, it's a learning curve, you know, working with Regroover. But once you, you go through all the settings and uh, all the functions here, it's quite easy to get around once you're used to it. Now, all layers have access to some effects uh, right here on the right side of Regroover. So we have a gate, a EQ, compressor and saturation. Uh, which is quite nice. Uh, so you can tweak uh, the tone of your layer with these effects, uh, which can bring some uh, some cool cool results in the end. Then note that all layers have access to a separate output if you want to. Uh, now by default, uh, you know it goes through uh, the instrument's output, the main stereo out, uh, but you can assign uh, all layers on separate outputs. Okay, so with Regroover, we have access to 16 outputs total. And to assign these uh, in your DAW, uh, like in Cubase, for example, what we do, uh, basically, we, uh, uh, we just activate the output of uh, a regroover, okay, of the instrument by clicking on activate outputs on the instrument rack. And you just, you know, um, activate how many outputs you want, and then you, uh, you just um, route them to that specific output that you activated. And it's going to be uh, it's going to be available directly into the mix console. This way you can apply some uh, effects directly on your tracks and mix these layers um, as you know, as they were regular tracks into your uh, Cubase session. So this is quite nice. Now, once you're done with your groove, you can export it if you want. You can export the layers separately. And uh, this is what I did. I chose, I have a directory that I chose. And uh, there you go. All the layers have been um, 
uh, export it into that specific folder that I chose. Uh, now, the cool part now, the expansion kit. Now, this is quite nice. Uh, basically, um, you can just assign a, uh, a sample out of this, uh, out of a layer to a, uh, a drum pad. By clicking on the layer, you just select the, uh, the sample you want to assign to a MIDI controller. Then you select the bottom section of that uh, sample and you simply drag and drop it into the expansion kit. So this is pretty cool. Now um, let's go into the editor section where you can edit all the samples you loaded here. Okay, so uh, we loaded the kick drum here. Now uh, from that point on I can uh, uh, work on the enter point and the out uh, point here. Okay, the envelope here, the envelope shape. Okay, and of course, we have access to some effects as well. So again, EQ and compression uh, that you can apply on each samples loaded in uh, the editor. And you can assign every samples on a separate output. Okay, same as the layers. Um, to do so, I think, yeah, there you go. It's right here. Uh, we have access to all the 16 outputs available. And uh, that's basically it. And now the cool thing about this uh, editor is you can import another sample that is not part of the loop if you want. So to add into your, uh, into building that drum loop. Now, this is quite cool. So to do, uh, to do so, you just click on that uh, small sign here and it's going to open up a finder window where you can go and select the sample you want to load into this uh, drum pad. So this is quite nice. Now, now let me show you what I did uh, with uh, my session here. Okay, so I have another uh, regroover that I worked on earlier and uh, what I did using the same groove, okay, using the same uh, loop here, I assigned a few samples on four separate pads here. So two of the samples are routed into a different output where I inserted some effects. Uh, now this is uh, quite nice, okay? And on top of that, if we go to the uh, MIDI window here, okay? All layers are assigned to a MIDI note, okay? So if I click here, okay, this is one of the layers, the kick drum here. So I added some MIDI notes to play the drum loop and on top of the drum loop, um, I just added a few of these samples, okay? To just to, uh, to enhance the groove. Uh, some of them are uh, just uh, a second kick drum uh, that I just um, tweak a bit, you know, just to have a different uh, tone shape. And um, some two of these samples are actually uh, going through a different output, then uh, they go into a uh, an inserted uh, delay kind of effect, okay, which sounds pretty cool. So let's listen to what that sounds like. If you put the time into it, you can achieve a lot of cool stuff. This is an amazing creative tool. Again, guys, check it out. I'm going to leave all the links in the description down below so you can go and check the Acusonis website and Regroover Pro. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to share this video and to subscribe to this channel. And just, you know, click on the thumbs up like this video. So guys, until next time, take care and see you.